Hi, Dr. Z here with another health tip for you that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine from home. Today I'm going to be talking about the cruciferous family of vegetables and more specifically broccoli sprouts. So what is it that makes cruciferous vegetables so great? Well, a compound called sulforaphane, which has been widely studied at this point, is speculated to be the prime agent in the health promoting activities of the cruciferous family. Sulforaphane is a naturally occurring phytochemical found in the seeds and sprouts of cruciferous plants. Interestingly, it's formed from its precursor glucoraphanin when the plant is broken, as in when it's being chewed or cut. In other words, we start with glucoraphanin and in the plant, and when the plant's broken, sulforaphane is formed, which is the compound we want. Unfortunately, this conversion is heat sensitive, meaning that when plants like broccoli and cauliflower are cooked, the sulforaphane content does decrease. This is one reason why I love broccoli sprouts so much, because they're more palatable and digestible, easy to digest in their raw form compared to raw whole broccoli. Additionally, broccoli sprouts contain 100 times the amount of glucoraphanin compared to mature broccoli. So what does sulforaphane do? It activates a powerful pathway in our body called the NERF2 pathway, which controls over 200 genes. Many of these genes are antioxidant and anti-inflammatory genes. Because inflammation and oxidation are implicated in so many chronic disease processes such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, depression, autism, and cancer, the activation of the NERF2 pathway is a huge target to prevent and decrease the risk of these diseases. On average, the NERF2 pathway is activated every 129 minutes to help regulate things like inflammation, oxidation, and detoxification. However, when stimulated by sulforaphane, this pathway is increased to every 80 minutes. This means less oxidative damage, less inflammation, and more detoxification in the body. So let's go through some of the ways that sulforaphane can specifically address these chronic diseases. Cardiovascular disease, which is still the number one killer in the United States to date. In general, consumption of cruciferous vegetables can lower the risk of heart disease and incidence of heart attacks and stroke. More specifically, a study in patients who are type 2 diabetic found that daily consumption of a broccoli sprout powder for four weeks had the powerful effect to reduce markers that are predictive of heart disease, namely decreased serum triglycerides by 18.7%, reduced LDL by 13.5%, and overall reduced atherogenic index by over 50%. Further, a 20% drop in fasting blood sugar occurred, and this all happened just after four weeks. Next, we'll talk about cancer. In general, cancerous processes occur from damaged DNA and is also associated with inflammatory processes and oxidative stress. Sulforaphane has been associated with risks reductions in prostate, breast, bladder, and lung cancer. Sulforaphane also enhances our phase two detoxification pathway that occurs in our liver. And we need this pathway to excrete harmful procarcinogens, which are chemicals that increase the risk for cancer. Sulforaphane also can optimize brain function. Oxidation and inflammation also have profound effects on the brain, which is why sulforaphane has huge therapeutic implications for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's disease, as well as other diseases like depression, autism, and schizophrenia. Sulforaphane can also prevent traumatic brain injury, improve learning and memory post-administration of a head injury, and decrease neuronal cell death after lack of oxygen to the brain from head trauma or an ischemic stroke. To sum all of that up, the sulforaphane in broccoli sprouts has some serious potential to improve liver detoxification, the immune system, and decrease oxidative DNA damage and inflammation, thus reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, as well as autism, depression, and schizophrenia. From studies shared, 
about 40 to 60 milligrams of sulforaphane, which equates to roughly 100 to 140 grams of fresh broccoli sprouts, is recommended for a therapeutic dose. This is about half the quantity that fits in a large mason jar. However, any amount that you can do to improve your health is going to be beneficial. Hopefully, all the information provided in this blog has you super motivated and excited to start sprouting at home. Good thing that the materials and instructions are readily available over the internet if you don't already have them at home. Thanks for spending time with me today. Until next time, be well.